Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a hat using Nolder Binning. This is part two and as you can see I've already finished my hat. I'm going to talk you through how I did this but for the technical things, the stitches and the increasing and decreasing, you should really look at the tutorial I made for Oslo Stitch and part one of the tutorial for making this hat. After last time we had about this big of a circle, which is a good start. We made a round start, we increased every stitch on the first round, then every second stitch on the second one, and then I increased every third on the third one. From that I ended up with a flat circle. After this it becomes a matter of trying it on and approximating how many you need to increase. The rule of thumb is that if you increase it it's more flat so here lots of increasing if you don't increase it becomes more of a cylinder like down here so you can see it's rather straight here and that's because I haven't increased anything so what you should do when you come to the fourth to ninth row you should increase evenly around to keep the hat round and increase about four to six stitches every round until the hat feels like it will fit if you don't increase any more or you get to the ninth row. So the key is to always try it on continually and increase evenly around the hat. And remember that the more you increase, the flatter it becomes and the less you increase, the more like a cylinder it becomes. For the rest of the hat, until it covers as much as you want of the ear, you should just continue without increasing. If you want to have a folded edge like I have, you could do as I did and decrease a little along the line where you want to fold. This gives a bit of a better fit. And then on the next row, you increase the same amount as you decreased. So I think I did two stitches, so I increase them again in this row. And then go straight until the last few lines where you want to decrease again to keep it in the same shape as the rest of the hat and following this curve. When you're finished, just tighten the last few stitches, as you see I've done here, and then sew the remaining thread into the rest of, of the hat. And do the same with the starting thread. I put it in into the inside and fastened it in the binding. Since every thumb is different, this is a lot of what's difficult with null binding. It's about shaping the garment according to the size of stitch you get from your thumb, and it's a lot about working up that instinct of how to shape a garment. So this is just a rough guide, and I don't know how to make a hat for someone if I can't try it on them at least a hundred times while making it. I wish you the best of luck with your null binding and I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them. For now, I have a warm hat and this edge makes it even warmer, so I can use that when it becomes winter again. This is what the finished product looks like when I'm wearing it. Thank you for watching my tutorial and I'll see you next time. Hada!